Hello! You're currently watching Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, episode number one. Since this is the first video in the series, there are currently no previous episodes available at this time. However, there happens to be a question of the day. The question of the day is... If everything tastes like chicken, then what does chicken taste like? If you would like to answer the question of the day, or just have any comments in general, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the content that you're about to see. The like goal for this evening is going to be 15 likes, so I challenge you to get this video to more than 15 likes. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to follow this amazing journey. For all you social media buffs out there, I also happen to have a Facebook page, I have an Instagram account as well, and I also happen to have a Twitter account, so please be sure to follow me on those accounts if you happen to have one yourself. I hope that you guys will enjoy the video, so peace out, Girl Scouts! See you later! What is up everybody, it's your favorite generic commentator here, and today, as you guys can see by this lovable yellow ball of joy, today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Yellow version. I shall be your host and I will guide you through the land of Kanto, so let's begin! Okay, so pressing start will be prompted to this menu right here, we have two options right here. There is the new game option, which we are going to be getting into very shortly, and we have the option option, which seems kind of redundant if you ask me. But we're gonna go to the option option. The option option can be accessible throughout this game whenever you feel like it. All you really have to do is press start and you know the drill, but we'll just go through these options right here. We've got tech speed. Um, if you happen to be doing a let's play, I would suggest doing the tech speed to fast. Oh, please excuse me. I have had a brief moment right there, it was a piece of hair on my tongue. But I would suggest putting it to fast because this game, it's really, really blocky if you ask me. Like, words come in, like, maybe three words every text block, so definitely set it to fast. We've got animation right here. We'll be showing you this later on throughout this Let's Play, but pretty much each move that your Pokemon will learn will have a certain set of animation. Just giving a quick example, we're going to use Water Gun for an example. Obviously, the Pokemon is going to shoot water. It's pretty much animation. It's nothing too, too big. It's pretty self-explanatory. We've got Battle Style, which can be set to Shift or Set. Shift allows you to switch your Pokemon whenever you want them to. Set means you're going to have to use that Pokemon until you die or the battle ends. Sound, you can change the sound, as you can hear. I'll let you guys listen. And as you guys can hear, I usually tend to put it on mono because at the first time when I played this game, I really didn't know too much about the sounds, you know. I really didn't care about earphones. I didn't have earphones for my Game Boy Color at the time, so yeah. And print's pretty irrelevant, but if you had a printer back in the day, you can I guess you can print Pokemon. I never had a pr printer. I'm not really too sure about this function, but let's begin. New game. And this is... The Magical Professor Oak, and if you have never played a Pokemon game before, Pokemon, every single Pokemon game has their own professor that studies the Pokemon in their region or whatever. They study a certain characteristic or a certain type of thing that is unique about Pokemon. Um, hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, please call me the Pokemon Professor. Well, people call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them to fight. Myself, I study as I study Pokemon as a profession. What is your name? So we have three names that have been selected for us, or we can put in our own name if we want to. But I'm going to be going by the anime names, and I'm going to be Ash. 
F for Ash Ketchum. Right, so your name is Ash. All right, so we, our name is Ash. We're a ten-year-old boy going off on an adventure. This is my grandson, fucking dick. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Mm, what is his name again? And Professor Oak clearly has Alzheimer's because he can't even remember his grandchild's name. But we're going to name him Gary. Gary motherfucking Oak. Because we're going to go by the anime, you know. I used to watch it when I was a child. People call it cartoons, anime, same difference. Well, there's a huge difference, but for this factor, it's going to be the same difference. That's right, I remember his name. It's Gary. Hmm. Yeah. Really thinking about putting you in a nursing home, Professor Oak. Ash! Your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! And we turn into a small child. That was so anticlimactic, I cannot even begin to tell you. And just a cool little thing right here, if you actually click on this game system, it actually shows that you're playing an SNES. In other Pokemon games, you'll play probably the most current game system, well, Nintendo game system, that was out during that time. If you go over to this PC, you can actually grab a potion from here, so that's pretty nice. You also can deposit whatever items you have. Let's go to the items right here. Items, unlike other Pokemon games, are very, very unorganized, if you can't see this right here. Um, right here we have a potion that's going to be coming very handy later. We've got our Ash right here. It'll show us how many badges we have, the amount of money that we have, and the time that we've played. It shows also our name at the top. Pretty self-explanatory. We got save. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using this option too, too much because I have save states, but pretty much lets you save your game, and when you turn your game back on, you'll actually be able to go back from that save state. And got options, as I said before. Pokemon, we can't use this because we don't have any Pokemon right now, so let's head on downstairs. This is our beautiful mother, even though she doesn't look too beautiful from this point of view. Right, all boys leave home someday, when they're 18, not 10. It said so on TV because, you know, you're a trend-following sheep, in the words of Copper Cab. But <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to head out of our house. We're actually going to head over to this patch of grass right here, and Professor Oak is going to stop us. And he's like, whoa, dude, what do you think you're doing? You're about to get raped out there. Don't even go into that tall grass. And miraculously, when Professor Oak appears... This Pokemon comes out! This right here is Pikachu, who is going to be the main star of this adventure. So, yeah, we're getting a close look at him right now, but Pikachu is weak as fuck because he just caught, got caught by a Pokeball in one turn. That, that was kind of pathetic. But anyway... Professor Oak... Whew. A Pokemon can appear anytime in the tall grass. You do you need to your own Pokemon for protection. Just like a gun. Yes, I'm pretty sure that Professor Oak, instead of owning guns, he owns like a blastoid and uses like fucking hydro pump whenever someone tries to rob his professor lab place. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Because you know that's what Gary Oak sounds like. That that's exactly what it sounds like. Hmm. Why are you here already, Gary? <laughs> Wow, your grandfather doesn't want you here. Congratulations. I said for you to come back later. Ah, whatever. Just wait here then. Look, Ash. Do you see that ball on the table? Should I answer that? I, I don't know if I, I should answer that. It, it sounds like a sexual advance, Professor Roke. I mean, I I'm kind of creeped out at this moment in time. It's called a Pokeball. It holds Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on and take it. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Well, you're the black sheep of the family, so no one really cares about your opinion. Okay, and Gary is gonna come over and be a douche and push me out of the way, and he wants it. Because, you know, he is a selfish piece of poop. Gary! What are you doing? Gramps, I want that one! But I... Uh, alright then. That Pokemon's yours. Faggot. <laughs> I was going to give you one anyway. <laughs> Ash, come over here. Oh my goodness. Ash, this Pokemon and I caught I caught earlier. You can have it. And I caught it in the wild because, you know, you weren't just standing behind me when I was getting raped by Pokemon. But hey, you know, good job, Ash. 
And we've got Pikachu. Would you like to name your Pikachu? Yes, I would like to name my Pikachu. Um, just like any other Pokemon game, you are allowed to name your Pokemon whatever you like. You can either go for the generic wild name, which is Pikachu, or I can name it something different. So, let's think of something interesting. Um, unlike previous Pokemon games, there isn't a gender, however, so I can name this pretty much whatever I want. It could be a boy or a girl. I think I'm going to go with a girl's name. What's a girl's name that starts with a P? It's not penis. Um, <clears throat> I'll name you Patty the Pikachu. Um, just a fun fact about this game, Pikachu it cannot evolve from this game. I think the only way that you can actually evolve this Pikachu right here is by training it to a different game such as Red or Blue and then evolving it with a Thunderstone and then trading it back. So you theoretically cannot get a Raichu in this game. Fairly, anyway. But as soon as we leave, we're going to be confronted by Gary. Ash, let me check out your Pokemon. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And slow motion Gary Oak. Usually in its other variants, other Pokemon variants, such as Red and Blue, Gary Oak usually decides to pick the Pokemon that counterpicks your Pokemon. So if you choose a Charmander, he would choose a Squirtle. But being the dumbass he is, he decided to choose the Eevee. You're kidding me. Eevee is a normal type, Pikachu is a Thunder type, so there really isn't a clear advantage here, but Eevee still can do a bit of damage. This Eevee is not something to tread lightly on. But as you can see right here, we are taking this Eevee out, and it's now par it's now paralyzed. Per <laughs> oh my god. Paralyzed, please excuse me. It's now paralyzed, so... This is going to work in our favor. It's almost dead. Paralysis pretty much is... I don't know how to describe paralysis. Paralysis pretty much is... you. Your opponent really can't attack your opponent. Your po Yeah, your opponent can't attack your opponent. Your opponent can't really attack your Pokemon, but it's kind of random from what I've seen in paralysis system of this. But after we beat this trainer battle we grew to level six and we grew and got a new move yes as your Pokemon advance in this game you'll actually grow stronger and you'll get new moves your stats will go up that's probably what I'll show you before I end this video but what unbelievable I picked the wrong Pokemon of course you did there was only one there you should have took the Pikachu because Pikachu is fucking kick ass dude okay I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen them up Ah, I, I hate this line so much. Smell you later! Oh my goodness. Gary, please get out of here. Nobody wants to see your face. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. Um, I'm pretty sure that I would really dislike being trapped in balls for a good rest of my life. <laughs> kind of sounds like slave labor almost, you know, being tracked trapped in the mini shack, but hey, that whatever floats the Pokemon world's boat, I, I, I don't know. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it, and you can see how it feels about you. I'm pretty sure Pikachu doesn't really like me too much, but um, now that we have a Pokemon, we can actually go to the Pokemon menu, and we can look at its stats. Pikachu's attack is at 11, defense is 9, speed is 16, and special attack and defense are 11. So, pretty much Pikachu's defense is going to be its Achilles heel. It's not really that great compared to the other stats that we got here, but we have Thundershock, Growl, and Tail Whip. And before we end this video, I'd just like to show you that you can actually interact with Pikachu. So, that is another cool feature that wasn't in red or blue. So, this game has a lot of more features here, and Pikachu actually does its own thing, as you can see right here, it's moving around, you can see the sprite version of it, and let's just talk to it. Pikachu is not having that shit. <laughs> but this looks like a good place to stop it right here, we'll end it right here. Okay, and actually, I will be using the save function, but yes, this has been your favorite generic commentator. I hope that you guys enjoyed this first part of our journey, and I hope that you guys will stick around to see more of this. Peace out, Girl Scouts. So make some noise while you've got time. Take this poison for you.
Be the 